Alright, hey guys, it's Terrence here, and I'm going to show you how to change colors in, uh, in Anki and Image Occlusion 2.0 for Anki. We're going to change the mask color and the initial color of the objects that that you that you use to create cards. So the options are here in Image Occlusion. You go to Tools, Image Occlusion 2.0 Options, and we'll be able to change the mask color, which is the color of the question, which it says right here. Uh, the answer will be underneath this color, and there will be generally one of them or so, however many you choose actually on the page. And then the initial color is the color of all the other occluded um, shapes that, that we make on the card that are not questions. And so, for instance, you might want to do this if you are looking at a picture like this and you want to make this look pretty nice because you want to, you know, give this to your friends or something. So, having a red mask would be terrible because you <laughs> wouldn't be able to know which one of these because it blends in with the background. And then having white on here also looks bad because your background is red. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do here is change the mask color to blue and I'm going to change the initial color to red and in order to insert a screenshot into image occlusion all you do is select the image that you want copy it to the clipboard open up the note editor for Anki and select image occlusion and there we have it there is the image I copied to the clipboard I'm going to call this changed colors this will be the header for my cards here's my deck image occlusion change color rectangle is selected and I'm going to go ahead and just draw rectangles over these And as I prefer, I'm going to create the non-overlapping occlusions, which has an image of two non-overlapping squares on there. And I'm going to show you what this ends up looking like, and it looks pretty darn nice. Here's the question in blue. All the other ones blend in with the background, look really nice. Go ahead, and there's your answer. As you can see, I'm working through this. So this looks really good, and, and you can do a lot of things with image occlusion to make these things look great and help yourself with studying. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know, and uh, thank you for joining me here, and, and check out my other videos on how to use this and use uh, image occlusion, and, and uh, good luck studying.